Police are trying to find one of the drivers involved. Yeah, this is quite a tragedy this morning. Local force Sean Lee following the story for us live. And Sean, I understand just moments before this tragedy, the men were just simply out to dinner. Out to dinner, buying lunch or dinner, and then crossing a very busy Michigan Avenue. Look, we just checked with Canton Police. They're putting out the call this morning saying, it's a busy roadway. Anyone who saw this accident go down, they are asking for witnesses to please come forward as they try to piece all this together. Right now, police, they are looking out for a dark blue or black Dodge Caravan and its driver in the minivan. Uh, that is going to have front end damage. Let's take you to the scene here. Six o'clock yesterday evening, two men crossing Michigan Avenue near 275. You know how busy that roadway is. One of the men, a 54 year old from Westland, was hit by the driver of the caravan. That man was killed. It set off a chain reaction. The driver of a Bu Buick with her kids in the car also then hit the man. A 45 year old the man was lit with. He's from Inkster. He was hit by the driver of a Ford Expedition. Next, he died at the hospital. The 45 year old from Inkster, the driver of the Buick and the Expedition, they both stayed at the scene. The driver of that Dodge Caravan did not. It would happen so fast. Everyone was going so fast. We all were coming off of 275 right here. I, I, I just saw him go up and he hit him and he kept just kept going. All right. Back here live, here are the details from Canton Police right now. The driver of the dark blue or black 2013 to 2016 Dodge Caravan, he's described right now as a Middle Eastern male, about 36 to 40 years of age, clean shaven, short black hair. Last night he was wearing a dark, possibly black suit with a red tie. Someone may recognize who that person might be putting together that suit, that description and the Dodge Caravan police are asking for someone to come forward to help direct them towards the driver and the van. Back to you guys. Uh, Sean, first of all, how could this even happen? Do police think that maybe the drivers were distracted per se? The drivers that stopped, they are confident they weren't distracted on any drugs or alcohol. They're clearly cooperating. Mm -hmm. They need to catch up with the driver of the Dodge minivan to find out why he took off. You know, uh, did he not see these guys in the roadway and why didn't he at the time? All righty, Sean Lay reporting live for us this morning. Hopefully they'll get the answers they're looking for. Sean, thank you.